हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल ऑटोमेट विथ राकेश प्लीज डू सब्सक्राइब एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन टू स्टे अप टू डेट वी आर अपलोडिंग वीडियोस ऑन अ रेगुलर बेसिस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ डू यू ऐड कॉलम्स हाउ डू यू ऐड न्यू एक्सेल कॉलम्स डेली और आवरली सो एवरी टाइम दिस अ रिक्वायरमेंट इन द प्रोजेक्ट वेर यू हैव टू एड कॉलम्स एवरी आर और लेट से एवरी डे right how that can be achieved what is the logic that you have to build in ui path to add columns we are going to see so first of all let's do one thing open your app studio and keep our file ready for example here i have given a simple use case okay for example every day i need to capture the bangalore climate or let's say every hour i have to capture the bangalore climate what is the temperature what is the humidity what is the wind this could be a different business scenario but again the logic would remain the same every hour i need to add a new column to this so how this can be done let's see now very first thing what we are going to do we as we have to deal with excel i will type excel okay and these are all the modern activities that i am going to use in this video now the very first thing i will drag and drop the excel process scope done and the next thing that i'm going to drag and drop is the use excel file done now select the file where you will be working to add columns so the file is there in my documents let me select the file okay and then after that the very first thing i want to do is i want to read what is the current data right there could be uh, tomorrow when i come there could be two different columns th three columns it does it will be keep on changing right the column will be keep on changing so it is necessary for to read the current range okay so i will drag and drop the read range activity and here what is the range so here what you do instead of specifying anything simply select the name of the sheet so here in this file there are two different sheet sheet 1 sheet 2 it will automatically pull it so here i am saying sheet 1 and then once it reads has headers visible rows only okay and here create a variable called dt1 so the data table variable has been created so this is going to contain the current status of the excel right what how much data it has got okay now every day i need to add so what would be the requirement probably you will have to put a a uh, date here right put a date every day or let's say every hour so date and hour you have to put so like that you have it has to keep on adding and creating columns okay now if you have to add a date you must know the syntax to have the date right so let me show you the syntax through a message box day or date whatever right for example um i want to add dates um so i'll use the date time right date time dot now so it is going to pull today's uh, date or time right so here at date time dot now let me open this in a slightly bigger screen date time dot now to string and then in the bracket i will mention the format so what is the format i want dd and then mm hyphen yyy and then i need let's say r right if you want in 24 hours you have to put in double h colon mm okay second whatever you like you can place your format so this is the format what i need let's say click on okay so this one if you see this message box let me run it this message box is going to populate and show me the current date and time okay so the execution has started on my taskbar okay now you can see 1422 2020 uh, 22 2020 white is 22 it has to be 6 right okay sorry i did a mistake uh, tell me what is the mistake here the m has to be capital small m means minutes right so i have to use mm okay fine now let's run it now let's see so here it is saying 1406 june 2022 3 o'clock 23 minutes 3 pm okay so it is showing me the date now here the question is how do you every day you know add a new column 
Now to add a new column, there is an activity. I'm going to delete this message box. Okay. So we're going to use this format. Um, so let's add an activity called add column to data table. Okay. Add data column. So add data column. This is this would be responsible to add new columns to the Excel file. So now um, let's say column name. So what is the column name? So how this one works first? Let me tell you. For example, if I simply type. So you saw the output of this, right? The uh, the, uh, the exact output coming. So I'm going to do a Control X and I'm going to in the column name I'm going to paste it over here. Okay, and I'm going to remove the or delete the message box. So what this will do? This is going to add the exact output that we saw in a column as a column name. Okay, and here I'm going to mention uh, the variable. Sorry, the variable which we have already created, which is DT1. Right. So, what is the logic here? We are applying. We uh, we are reading the Excel file and storing that into the variable called DT1. And into the DT1, we are adding a column name. The column name will be the name of the date and time. That's that's the logic. Okay. Let me first show you how this one work. And then after you add to see the output, you know you need to write it. So what I will do? I will use. And there will be a couple of challenges. I am also going to discuss that. I am going to. A right data table to Excel. So this is a new data table containing a new column. So what to write? So you want to write DT1. Uh, where to write destination? So as I said, the destination I'll simply select sheet one. Okay, I would not specify any range. It's going to simply say sheet one. Done. Now look at your sheet. This is my sheet. Now here, if I hit on run file, it should add a date over here. Okay, you can see it has added a date and time. Let's say if I'm going to run it again, run again, it is again going to create a column here and going to update here. Uh, uh, already belongs to this data table. Okay, uh, I need to wait at least for a minute for, to pass because already this column is existing, right? So you can also put dot ss so that way. Uh, there will be a difference. So every hour you want to run, so the timing will change. The column name will not remain the same. So this error won't come. Hopefully the minute has passed. Let me run it again. You are getting it right. How how this one is working? So it is going to add a column once again. You can see it has become 26. So it has added a new column. So the column has been added. There is a couple of challenges I am going to show you. For example, if I am going to let's say highlight this many cells and I am going to add a border. So what is happening by adding a border? You are telling until here I have my table. Until here. So you are selecting a range, right? So I am going to show you what is the problem will happen just by doing this. So if I run a file, hope that one minute has already passed. If not, we'll run it again. So what is happening here? Here column one, column one, column two, and here again it's writing. Um, why did it say column one, column two? Because by adding some kind of a um, you know a grid or borders, uh, you are telling to the UI path yeah, until here I have my table. So because it was blank, it is adding the name column one and column two, and then writing what it has to do. So ensure you do not do any such things right you don't add a border uh, leave it blank just to be be safe leave it blank generally on a project you don't have to really uh, act it until unless you have to modify let's say you have to send this file to someone then you can have another workflow to modify and design everything and then send it so that can be done obviously possible but my advice would be not to do any kind of a um, borders up you know don't apply anything just leave it as it is okay so what i was saying so now all the columns has been added now there will be requirements wherein you would say rakesh i don't need um, you know every second or every doesn't matter uh, you know what date what time you know every every second it is running it should change so even those formats can be done for example i'll put a ss okay small ss means seconds so if i click on okay 
and if I run this, no, let's let's say let me going to delete all these columns. Okay, I've deleted, save it, and then run this studio uh, workflow. So once you run this, it's going to add column to Excel. So see 1531. Let's say I'm quickly, I'm going to immediately run it again. So last time it thrown an error, right? Because the minute was matching. So because I have added a second, see it doesn't matter. Do you see? Uh, 153100, 153112. So it is uh, it is writing the data. Doesn't matter. So every second, the second will change very quickly. So this way you can have more data. So if you let's say if you would like to restrict it to only date, every day you want to run. So all you have to do is go here the column name. So I am worried only about the date. So I don't, I am not worried about this. So delete and hit on OK. So this only has a date format. So if I run it now, what would happen in the D column now, this blank is going to add the new column name. Okay. So, uh, okay. Sorry. I shouldn't have clicked on that cell. If you click on the cell while it is executing, then it will think a user is using it. So it will not really work on it. So I'm going to run file. So don't touch the Excel file. I mean, do not click on any cells. Okay. So you can see it has written only the day. So every day. Now you have a question, Rakesh. Okay. I understood how this add data column works and how we can ensure a new column is created with a specific date, time, hour, minute, seconds. Uh, into the Excel so that we have understood through this example now how do I really uh, so when you build a project how do I really implement it because I will not be manually running this so in orchestrator uh, I have a video how do you schedule your bot so once you schedule the bot for every hour or every day right depending on the scheduled run and, and is going to create a new column so that has to be taken uh, care through the scheduling part so the scheduling part uh, let's say I'm scheduling every day to run at three o'clock. So every day at three o'clock, the automation will start and then it's going to run it and it is going to capture the new column. So this logic is important. The scheduling part and orchestrator, if you follow my orchestrator playlist, how do you schedule that? You will get a video schedule uh, bots. Okay. There's a video. You can watch that on my channel. Okay. So this logic is created. So this logic creation is quite simple, right? It appears very simple. Now the difficult part is how do you how do you write values into it? For example, temperature, for example, humidity, wind. So uh, what you do, you generally go to uh, Google, uh, you type Bangalore temperature, and then in the Google itself, these values are available. I'm going to show you. So this would uh, require a lot of logic. Okay, a lot of logic that one need to develop. So if I type Bangalore temperature. In Google so you have to use another activity called you know use application browser open Google Chrome and then uh, I don't know why I did not type okay it's taking time Okay, so once you type Bangalore temperature, these are the values using get text activity I can capture 31. What is the humidity 49%? What is the wind 8 km per hour? So there is a new workflow which need to be created. So workflow we can create for that. I will show you. Okay, I'm in the upcoming videos. I'm going to show you. But the challenge here is how are you going to write? Because every day this column will change, right? And again, you need to you know write into this specific uh, uh, cells every day it will change the values will change the look you know the position will change so how do you make it dynamic i'm going to show you in the next video and i am hoping uh, you know for you to try this you understood the use case you try this on your own if not anyways i'm going to release the video where you can learn so thank you guys so this video is very specifically for to add columns on a daily basis on a hourly basis to excel and that is achieved but again adding data under the column 
is something we need to see in our next video. So thank you guys to watch this uh, video. We are going to meet once again in our next video. So please stay connected. Please do subscribe to the channel. Please do hit on the bell icon and we are going to connect once again in our next video. Till then take care. Bye bye.